when we use uh, no sql databases hot partition is one of the problematic aspect of that management so today we will see what is hot partition and how to manage it and uh, how hashing helps us to manage the hot partition so initially we will have some look at what is meant by no sql databases so these databases are flexible schema databases and they are called non relational uh, to differentiate them from uh, relational databases like mysql or postgresql or oracle uh, these type of databases are newer and they are different from uh, traditional relational databases but still relationship exists between the entities in these no sql databases <clears throat> so we can call it as a, a flexible schema database and i will have a separate uh, video on what is exactly meant by no sql uh, the main types of no sql databases are key value or document where we use json documents and uh, graph oriented database where we have nodes and edges so what is partition in no sql database so thing is that no sql databases are now popular because we can horizontally scale them and we do not need any uh, extra powerful machines and we can use ordinary machines with a minimum cpu or storage but we can stack together multiple machines like thousands of machines together and still we can have very good no sql database with uh, very good management so to divide our database into all these machines we need to partition them partition is like just a dividing those databases and we keep each part on each different machine and in case of partitioning the architecture is called as shared nothing architecture so to give an example suppose we have a database with 1000 uh, entries in it and we have 10 partitions or 10 machines and one partition on each machine uh, it is not necessary that one machine contain one partition uh, it can be like one machine can contain 10 partitions or 100 partitions so with shared nothing architecture uh, and we have 10 partitions we can have 1 to 100 in one partition then 100 and 1 to 200 in another partition like that so no two partition share the data so that is called as a shared nothing architecture so what is the problem of hot partition so ideally speaking all partition should get equal data and equal traffic so in an example we have seen just now if we have a thousand entries in our database so 10 partition each get 100 entries but practically speaking this is very difficult to achieve there will be always unevenness in different partitions like suppose a single partition will contain 200 entries and another partition may contain only 50 entries or only 10 entries and this unevenness leads to hot partition so one single partition gets some more traffic like suppose we have one partition like with 500 entries or half of the database is in one partition itself and half of the database is spread over on remaining partitions so naturally speaking when we query that database all the traffic is going to a single partition and that partition causes throttling because the io traffic input output traffic going to that partition is much much higher compared to other partitions and that hot partition is always always problematic and when we manage no sql databases everyone tries to minimize the hot partition and make all partitions equal so that the traffic is divided data is divided and we are happy with that database i want to uh, show two scenarios where it will lead to hot partition so suppose we are using partition key 
or primary key as a serial number going from one to whatever it may be like few thousands so when we start putting uh, those rows of a database in a particular partition by serial number naturally what's happening is all serial numbers are going together in one partition and that is not a good thing so we can have a scenario where we can have a round round robin type of distribution where each successive da database row will go to a different partition so this is an ideal situation and this problem always occurs when we use a timestamp as a as our primary key and that all timestamps together goes in a single partition so this is also a not or desired condition because it will lead to hot partition. So now we will see how to avoid hot partitioning and we will we should have uh, all partitions with even number of roads and even number of traffic. So how to achieve it practically. So we use hashing as a mechanism to avoid hot partitioning. So suppose this is value of our primary key and uh, these are primary keys so this is a hash hash is always having a fixed length uh, i will show you an uh, example how hash works so this is an online tool showing so this is the website and uh, we, we can enter a number and generate a hash so that it will provide a fixed string hash of that number and which we use different algorithms like MD5 or SHA1. So these are our partitions. The figure shows four partitions. And these blue are hash values of our primary key. As we hash a particular value, it generates a, like a randomness in the number. And we can distribute those hash values to different partitions. And instead of distributing our rows depending on their primary key or timestamp or a serial number we hash those values of a primary key and then distribute those hash values in a different partition so we can get even number of rows in each partition and even number of traffic to each partition and suppose if we want to add partitions or remove partitions we can rebalance partitions with this type of hashing. So why we need more or less partitions? Like our data is increasing and from 1000 rows we are going to 2000 rows. So now we need double of partitions. And once we get more partitions, we have to rebalance the data so that even after increasing or decreasing our partition number, we still get even number of rows in each partition. And there is a one more algorithm of hashing called as highest random weight hashing. And what this algorithm helps us in rebalancing. So when we want to increase or decrease number of partitions, when we use this algorithm of hashing, the movement of rows from one partition to another partition is much reduced due to this advanced hashing algorithm. So I hope you learned something about hashing and partitioning and how to avoid hot partition in NoSQL database. Mm -hmm.